Okay, there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me if the audio is a little weird. Um, I'm readjusting my mics and all that. I redid my back room. And I recently redid the... Uh, my volume levels from uh, OBS and my PC mic in general. And I noticed that my last couple of episodes were really, really loud. So I don't know why. They shouldn't be peaking like that, but anyway, forgive me. So this is going to be a quick, um, just a quick video um, to talk about the quest book. Um, I noticed that in general some of the quest books in uh, some of the mod packs are a little different. And they can be a little confusing and a little bit frustrating. So I'm in my single player world, that's why I'm decked out in weird gear. I haven't been in this in uh, my single player world in a minute. But I'm on the Future's Edge uh, mod pack, uh, specifically. So. The way this quest book works, and this can be in general for all quest books, is let's say I wanted to complete the, um, uh, let's, let's go with um, this one right here. I like to squeeze it. In this particular, forgive me if I'm, I sound like I'm out of breath, I literally just got done running from the basement, coming all the way upstairs, so. Huh, two flights of steps. Yeah, when you're a big dude, that can be a lot. But anyway. Um, I noticed some people were having uh, issues in my group. Um, and in general, I noticed some other players were having issues with some mod packs where they would complete a task in the mod pack um, for that quest line. And no matter what they did, it wouldn't register that they made the squeezer. So let's just jump uh, here and get the squeezer. Now I have the squeezer in my inventory. If I come here, it's not going to register it. No matter what I do. Um, I can pick that, I can hit detect, it's not going to pick it up. The reason being is because I haven't finished power generation yet and I haven't created a kinetic dynamo. So if I get a kinetic dynamo, let's see if this works. Um, there we go. Well, let's just say I went through the processes of getting a connect, uh, kinetic dynamo. Uh, let's get a windmill. But it, you notice how I can't do the kinetic dynamo. Well, that's because I have to go back and it says power generation requires and coils of wire. So we're gonna backtrack that. And it says requires and treated wood. Well, we'll backtrack to that. This says requires and primitive tech. So with primitive tech, I need eight coal blocks and an engineer's hammer. So let's get those eight blocks. Uh, those are, I believe, Coke bricks. Uh, we need eight of these. And we need an engineer's hammer. So I have these now.
Now, because I gave them to myself, it's not going to pick it up in-game. But... Uh, let's get what we need in order to make the engineer's bricks. Because, you know, like I said, we're in my own single-player world inside the creative world. Um, to get the coke bricks. Um, we need clay, bricks, and sandstone. Let's get our clay. There are bricks. And sandstone. Come over here and we'll do cut bricks. That's complete. We need to make an engineer's hammer. Not hard at all. Uh, I thought I had that already. Oh well. Complete, complete. We'll claim. And that's done now. So if we come over here, now we can do this. It's treated wood uh, planks and treated sticks. All we need is wood and uh, some creosote oil. Let me get a bucket of that. We'll do that. That's done. We'll claim our basic gears. Oh, wait. And now we need engineer, we need uh, wire cutters and copper wire. So as you can tell, um, as I'm going through the list of different um, items I forgot I actually have the portable crafting table and then we need uh, copper wire I believe Now you can do power generation. So kinetic dynamo. Uh, we just need the components to make that. So I'm just going to throw this stuff away that I don't need. Because for me, in my single player world, you know, it's my single player world. I can have as much fun as I need to, you know. Because everything for me is unlocked. So we need redstone, uh, copper coil block, and some iron. We have the redstone.
<clears throat> diner. Uh, copper coil block. That's a copper coil. Ah, there we go. So this video is not going to be too long. It's just to prove a point and to show you all what I actually mean. Kinetic dynamo. Not a problem. That's complete. I'm going to go for the windmill. Now we can go for the squeezer. But before that, I'm going to double check to make sure it's actually unlocked. So it says and bronze age. So we need bronze before we can do the copper coil uh, before we can do the squeezer. So we need to make bronze. And in order to make bronze, we need 10 and three copper. And now that that's done, I would suggest getting a sturdy casing. The woman building backpack isn't bad to get, but I would rather get the sturdy casing. That's just me. And now this is unlocked. So, yeah, that's the main thing. You just have to double check and make sure that uh, certain prerequisites are finished before going on and making something. So what I would suggest is double checking and making sure that whatever your task is, it is, um, there's no red in the box for that particular quest in, in that particular quest line. So sterling power, there's no red. And this requires that I make a sterling generator. But just because you can make a sterling generator doesn't mean, well, just because it's unlocked in the quest doesn't mean that you can make it yet. Case in point for me, uh, in one episode, and Oblix found this hilarious. Uh, where was it? Ah, Master Chef. Well, first of all, I see red. So cooking basics. That means I can't go ahead and um go and do this yet, just yet, because I have to finish this first. Cooking Basics, this is all the tools from uh, Pan's Harvest Craft that allows me to make different delicious treats in game. Now, I could edit this and do all that lovely stuff, but that's if this is unlocked and you're in uh, single player, or if you're on a server, the, um, the uh, team lead for your server has it unlocked. I don't know why they would have your quest book unlocked. That would defeat the purpose, but... I, I, I digress but um, I jumped into this thinking that I can make everything here and I can't make the cooking table because the cooking table at the time um, that I made the video um, the cooking table requires a cooking for blockheads 2 which requires two diamonds I didn't have any diamonds at the time so yeah but ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much what I wanted to discuss today in this quick little video. Um, you could consider this a uh, a bit by bit, a mod spotlight, if you will. But it just, you know, words of wisdom for those who needed a little help with quest books in general, and particularly the quest book in Futures, uh, Futures Edge. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Michael Gardner. Um, so yeah, so like for this, got to catch them all, I have to make a scoop, and then I can go ahead and do Bee House, Apiary, and Round and Round. Over here, all these are blocked off, 
well, they're not blocked off. It's just I they're required me to go and get certain things. This is blocked off until I locate the end. So yeah, you can see how it can be a little confusing because certain things might be open and say that you can do it. But yet again, there might be a prerequisite before you can actually unlock and do that particular task. So in this case, Fabricator, I can't do it yet until I uh, do, I like to squeeze it. So yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I am your host, Michael Gardner, AKA Blue Fox 22. Just a quick little video for you all to help you out. But with that said, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, if only possible, and above all, stay foxy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next one. I'll be recording a Future's Edge video shortly, and then uh, some other videos for the channel. Hope you're all enjoying the, uh, the uh, episodes that are going on for Future's Edge, Project Ozone, Final Fantasy 7 and uh, Graveyard Keeper. But uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Have a lovely night and or morning and or day, afternoon, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.